Hi, my name is Kyle Tomcat Williams, and today I will be reacting to uh, Hawkeye. Um, I think I'm going to include in this the first two episodes, just because they both came out at the same time, and that will be a little easier than uploading them at different times, I think. Um, so I think that's the way I'm going to go with this. And obviously, if they're both included in this, you'll know that that's what I was going to do. So, um, that should be good. And actually, I, I mistakenly said that I thought that um, the character that was co-starring with uh, Jeremy Renner, uh, Haley Ste played by he uh, Haley Steinfeld, was uh, his daughter. I, for some reason, thought they just recast his daughter as her. But I guess that she's somebody else that has, you know, he has no idea who she is. Initially, at least. So, and keep in mind, the only reason I was confused on that is because, and I said this in my Shang-Chi uh, reaction, that's where I said that I thought it was his daughter. But um, the only reason I was confused is, honestly, I haven't seen any trailers for Hawkeye. So I'm going into this 100% cold. So I'm really excited to see, uh, obviously, where this is going to go. I really do like Jeremy Renner. Um, I haven't seen him a whole lot. I've seen him in... Um, Hold on. I've seen Jeremy Renner in the uh, Mission Impossible movies, obviously. He's really good in those, in my opinion. Um, entertaining to watch, obviously, in the Marvel stuff. But honestly, I don't know what else I might have seen him in, honestly. I think I, I don't think I've seen him in anything else. And maybe I'm just forgetting. I don't know. Those are just the, at least the two that come to my mind whenever I think about Jeremy Renner. He's I know you played in a Bourne spinoff, which actually was, I, I heard was actually decent, just a lot of people didn't like it because it wasn't actually Jason Bourne. And the full reaction to Shang-Chi is also on my Patreon right now, so if you want to take a look at that, obviously it's a two and a, it's almost a two and a half hour long movie, Shang-Chi, so there's obviously a lot of stuff I cut on my edited reaction, because obviously I have to, so if you want to hear my thoughts and, you know, my reaction to very specific things, specific scenes, um, that I might have cut out of my edited one, go take a look at my Patreon. Uh, you can check out the full version, and oftentimes I will post the full version on there before I do it on uh, the edited version on YouTube. So check that out, let me know what you think, and also while you are checking out my Patreon, make sure to go over uh, to my actual channel here on YouTube and like, subscribe, watch my other videos. I am trying to get myself to the level of monetization, so uh, if you could help me out there, that would be great. That would be fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and push play on this, and we should be good to go. Hold on. Three, two, one, click. I have to do that to make sure I can sync it up properly. We have to sell the penthouse. No! Oh, we beautiful. Don't. I that's, love her. That's what it... She's legit, like, one of my favorite actors or actresses or whatever they want to be called. Happening. Is this uh, New York, the Mommy? Battle of New York and Adventures? Dude, where are her parents? Where'd they go? Yeah, what do you even do? I like the idea of showing people being affected like this in various ways by something that was kind of a throwaway for a lot of people. It's like one little girl out of everybody. Oh, this is what made her be interested in being Archer is because of Hawkeye. That's cool. That would make anyone want to be an Archer if they saw that in real life. We have to get out of here. Yeah, where were you? She's like, she's just pooping, I guess. Jeez, where is she in? Breaking in somewhere. So the real question, does the bell swing back and forth or does the dangly thingy in the middle swing back and forth? It's obviously the bell. See, I would disagree. I think it's the dangly thingy. It's a little bit of both. I know it's a bet, but are you sure that arrow won't damage it? No.
Oh, that's cool. Hey, look, it's the dangly thing you do it. <gasps> right? And it gives a character all the most famous balls I've cracked in them. <laughs> <laughs> Just book it. Get out of there. <gasps> this is bad. How? How, it's the question is how does that even happen? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you're getting kicked off the archery team and a little bit more. Uh, possibly getting a few fines too. <laughs> Why is he even there? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Black Widow. I didn't even think about that. I like adding that those extra layers. To him still struggling with her death. Yeah. Um, now it's not really the appropriate time. <laughs> kind of peeing. Dude, the people who want to talk to you in the bathroom. Yeah, time. <laughs> when you're trying to take a piss, like, just make me scratch my head. Why would you do that to anyone? <laughs> I don't know if he has a hearing aid. I'm assuming he doesn't want to have one in real life. Yeah, I feel like going to that was a mistake. Who would want to do that? Go to a musical based on themselves? This whole thing is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Or even watch a movie based on themselves, honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Roger's just a musical. It's like, it's just so funny. I've always wanted to go to New York for the sake of, like, I wouldn't want to spend a whole lot of time there. Sorry to anybody who lives in New York or likes New York or anything like that. It's just I'm not, like, a city person, mainly. But I wouldn't mind, uh, number one, restaurants. Like, to have some decent, like, like, a, like pizza would be really good. I'd love to have some New York-style pizza. And I would love to go in the middle of... Like Times Square, see all the buildings towering over me, and just feel the scope. I feel like that would be amazing. I'm not thrilled that I'm about to replace an irreplaceable clock tower. <laughs> bell tower. The dean said yeah, it had well, a bell and a, a clock, and yeah. the overachiever that you are, you managed to destroy both. Like a mouse. How though? I feel like that's crazy. What's with all the swords, Mom? Hun, uh, there have been a few changes. Um, Jack. Oh, what else have I seen him in? Every single Chinese restaurant. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mama calling. Mama's calling. Say hi. How was the show? It was. It was. Uh, it's over. It's, it was big. <laughs> we left. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. <laughs> Yeah, he lost his entire family, right? Whenever the blip happened. I really think it that was so sad. And he performed that so well. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's not necessary. It's necessary. You saved our city. Oh. Thank you. See, I always felt like, as much as veterans would appreciate it, I always felt like it'd be uncomfortable. When people would always, you know, come up to you, and not to say you shouldn't, because I think you should 100%. It, I feel like it, I always felt like it'd be very uncomfortable to have people always coming up to you and say thank you for your service. I mean, it's justified. I always do it, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? And to any veterans that are watching, thank you for your service. There's not many higher callings than going and serving your country. You know, it's I never look that good in a tuxedo. In my life, <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you wear something a little more ladylike for the wedding, so we won't be competing. What wedding? <laughs> Can I offer you some champagne? 
I wonder how long they've been together. Believe me, I've done everything in my power to talk him out of it. Seems like he won the jackpot. You think so? Where is he? <laughs> I'm not so sure. You need to have a chat with your prize of a mother. Jeez. Come on, Armand. Come on. Douche. You're engaged? Oh, well, I guess the beans are out of the bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. And this is something I don't know about him, which is entirely possible. Come back and find me, okay? Yeah. Ah, man, I love her. She's so good. In everything. You got her in the Conjuring series, you got her in Bates Motel, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, is fantastic, an amazing series, and it just showcases how amazing she is. Man, I just can't stop thinking about it. I kinda wanna watch it again, actually. Oh, the puppy. He's got a little winky eye. I wonder if there's gonna be some sort of attack on the party or something. Seems like at very least she's involved with some sketchy people. Mom, what was that about? Is that guy Even threatening if... you? I honestly, I, I have no idea. Why are you lurking in the hallway? It's a very normal response. <laughs> if anyone's watched the show, so, I don't even know Norman. <laughs> honestly, and like, it seems genuine, but you know she's a liar. I think part of it has to do with her, him not wanting him to marry her. Right. She good thing she dressed like one of the waiters. So what's going on here? Oh, is he down there too? I hope he's a nice guy. I'm guessing this isn't the charity portion of this. Maybe it is, I don't know. remind you that this is for home display only, and you have no idea where you got it. <laughs> oh wow. So it's some black market stuff, I guess. I told you to come down here. Gary. Gary. I'm okay. Gary. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm Gary. I love that there's an actual Gary. I feel like Gary's kind of a safe bet. An artifact recovered from the wreckage of the Avengers compound. Now, you Jeez. may recall, the Ronin decimated the criminal underworld of this city. Oh, Ronan. That was Clint. Can own this one of a kind retractable sword and will start the bidding at $200,000. Yeah, how does that even work? It's a good thing she moves to the other side. So far, I really enjoy her. She's not stupid, she's smart. The Ronan suit. Really? Bro, what was that? Who are these people? They should not wear a dress, though. Dealing with this crap in a dress would suck. To find a watch. Everything else is secondary. Let's go. Find a watch. Find a watch. So I guess there's a watch that was going up for a bit. She gonna put on a costume to hide her identity, so she. Kick some butt. Hello. What's that? Yeah, you can't recognize those eyes at all. Her eyes are very recognizable. Jeez. <laughs> you pick up one of the guns would be good. That's good too. Bottles are good. This and what's good about those types of bottles, wine bottles, like they don't break as easy as they do in TV, obviously. So that you can use them for a while before you have to start stabbing. That was nice. <laughs> Oof. Oh, nice. Didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> My question is, she's fighting men. I don't know what 
should they name for the boss form? I feel like that would probably be a key strat. That'd be a bit of a a play. Seriously, hit him in the nuts. Hit him in the nuts. Hit him both in the nuts. <laughs> That's awesome. Oof. Jeez. Jeez. I mean, I, I would argue it was, probably was a good idea to put on the mask if she was going to try to intervene. Check it out. A ninja saved a dog. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that awesome, Dad? Say, that's not me. Is it? Is it? Oh. Yeah, he was brutal. Yeah, I think part of the reason why he struggled so much with that actually is because to go from that type of brutality probably to having his family back. My goodness, this is gonna give him a piece. <laughs> Oh, you know the dog loves that. Do not destroy this apartment. She should probably change, not be seen dressed like that, leaving that apartment and going to it. Is Clint gonna go investigate, see who is dressing up like him? Sooner rather than later. Monogrammed butterscotch. What? What's the? Why? Who cares? Why would you? I guess money. I don't know. You might spend your money on that. That just seems stupid. <laughs> That's gonna probably come into play later. Ooh boy. Be ready to be blamed for it. Her soon to be stepdad did it right. Pain, have your dry cleaning and I brought dinner. Run, run, run! Don't be spotted. Dude, running down the streets and all that get up, it looks so suspicious. Oh, crap. Oh, I see. So these aren't the same guys. They're just wanting revenge. That guy actually uh, played Jason Voorhees at one point, I think. Was it for Jason X, I think? Nice. <laughs> so I wonder if he still considers himself a Hawkeye, if he's still working or if he's fully retired, because I know, I think at first he was retired, right? He was retired after, like, Age of Ultron or something like that, right? Come on! <laughs> you're, a, you're a Hawkeye. I can't beat the crap out of you. you. That's awesome. Oh yeah, I like that introduction. No wonder they released two episodes. The most wonderful time of the year. Oh, this Christmas music so early. I guess it's Thanksgiving, so I guess it's that that early. I guess. Awesome. Cool. Um, I'm assuming there's no in credits since it's just the first episode, right? Cool. All right. I'm going to. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be smart about this. Um, I want to get multiple episodes up at a time. But the good news is, is I have my 4 weekend. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I finished watching this. As, I, as I've done here, I'm going to upload this episode here in the next day or so. And you'll already have it already, obviously. Then, here in the next, probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, I'll probably watch the next one. 
and start the editing on that one too and I'll release two within a few days of each other. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Anyways, that was good. I, I liked that. I definitely I heard somebody say that this was like the most grounded of the Marvel shows so far, which I absolutely agree. Uh, it definitely feels more like they're living in our world than any either of the other shows so far. Um, I'm definitely curious to see the the plot thicken. At this point, I think the main focus of that episode was to find a way for them to get together and to meet. Um, and I think they did a really good job of it so far. I really did. I do like Kate so far. She seems interesting as far as a character goes. Um, I, I think a like she's smart, but I feel like she made a few key mistakes there. Um, just there are simple mistakes for somebody who's inexperienced as a vigilante, I guess, or as a hero. But I liked seeing him come in. He's like, hey, I want to deal with the person who's trying to be Rowan. Um, so I'm, ex I'm excited to see her explanation to him as to what's going on. I'm excited to see that, honestly. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to kind of say about this. But I, I like where it's going so far. I mean, it's a pilot. A lot of time you need to watch two episodes in order to really get an idea. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of curious as to who killed... Uh, or Amurabi, uh, I can't remember his name, the rich guy, the rich old guy who was kind of a douchebag. Um, I'm curious to see who killed him. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's going to be her soon-to-be stepdad. However, if he was threat, if he was threatening her mom, then she, the mom, definitely has motive. So that could be a little dicey. Um, but I'm excited to see how this unfolds, how he becomes kind of a mentor to her, because obviously she still, she obviously respects him, looks up to him, and wants to hear what he has to say, and all that so far it looks like. I mean, I, we haven't seen much of their interactions yet, but I, I am, I'm really curious to see how it goes. And obviously Jeremy Ryder, he's a winner, so. Yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm gonna go ahead and probably end this right here, um, because there's not really much else to say. There's not necessarily a whole lot that went on in that episode. Since, I mean, obviously, those are so short. But I am excited to see where it goes. And I'll continue to upload these. I hope they're, they do well for me as far as views and all that goes. So uh, please encourage me. If you want me to see, watch uh, more of these Disney Plus shows as they come out and all that stuff. And continue on this one. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all those things if you have any thoughts. If there's anything I've missed uh, or that I don't understand. Definitely feel free again to point it out to me because if there's something I don't understand and there's something that could have uh, further my enjoyment of this, I definitely want to take advantage of that. So, yep, go ahead and uh, just let me know. But And also, if you're interested in seeing the full reaction to this episode, because I'm going to include the full reaction to this episode on uh, my Patreon. So, if you want to go check it out there, again, this is just $8 for full reactions to my stuff. And not only will you get this one, but you'll also get the second episode as that comes out um, for my full reaction. And you'll get the, uh, the Shang-Chi uh, full reaction. You'll get my uh, Reservoir Dogs full reaction, uh, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. You'll get um, the Dune full reaction, Halloween Kills full reaction. Obviously, multiple things. The spiral fill reaction, you get a lot of stuff out of it. So, if you want to check that out, um, please do. I would really appreciate it. Any way that I can kind of start making a little bit of extra money off this, that would be really, really helpful and allow me to hopefully get some better equipment. That way, I can have better quality things, a mic and all that, which actually I think I'm going to borrow a mic from my dad here very soon. So, sound quality is about to improve a lot. So, I'm definitely excited for that. So, yep, yeah, please like, again, like, subscribe, uh, share my videos, comment on them, and um, go check me out on Patreon. Again, I thank you so much for watching and for uh, liking and doing all that stuff with my videos and for continuing to follow me and subscribe to me. And I will see you in the next one.